What is up? What is up? What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Zed. I'm back at it again with another video. Your favorite male CNA. Looks like we got some sun coming through the roof, but uh, I'm back at it again with another video. Before I get started with this video, go ahead and subscribe. We are growing a mile a minute. Go ahead and like and comment on every other video that you see from me because I post on a weekly basis. Granted, I did miss last week because it's been a new semester for me. Work has been picking up crazy. I have to study a lot. Life is going for me, but I'll make up for it because I'm posting two videos this week. So stay tuned for that. Um, follow me on the gram at double I Z L E R Y. I don't want to pub too much because I kind of want to just get right into it and we're going to get into it now. So, um, recently I've been getting a lot of feedback from these videos that I've been posting and I appreciate that. I've been getting a lot of questions. I've been getting a lot of, you know, support videos, people telling me, Hey, I'm taking my CNA exam. I'm becoming a CNA. I'm going back to school to be a nurse, all this stuff. And I love seeing that. But one question I've been getting a lot is, is being a CNA hard? Is it difficult to be a CNA? Personally, I feel like that question is, uh, uh, it's uh, subjective to who you ask. You know what I mean? Depending on who you ask, some might say that it's difficult. Some might say that it's hard. Some might say it's the easiest thing in the world. And I kind of think it just depends on who you ask. Um, I'm a CNA because I intend to be an RN one day. So the way that I look at it is completely different than how the next person would look at it. If you're looking to move up and move up from just being a CNA, then I think that you would say that the workload is exactly what you're looking for. Being a CNA is exactly what I expect being a CNA is. At a hospital setting, I, I, will, I will stress this until the day that I am done being a CNA. Being a CNA at a hospital is a lot more rewarding from my experience and a lot more uh, fulfilling if you do it at a hospital setting being a tech, being a nursing tech, being a nurse's aide, being a CNA, because you are able to do so much more. And I feel like it's not its not too hard. The work is not too hard. Physically, it's hard. Physically, it's hard. Mentally, it's not. I work at night. Uh, I work three days out of the week. Typically, that's a, a standard CNA schedule. Three days out of the week, 12-hour shifts, or you can do five, eight-hour shifts, but I don't know too many techs that are, are doing that. The work itself is not difficult mentally it's not difficult physically you're lifting patients you're turning patients you're cleaning patients you're ambulating patients you're you know uh just doing everything possible to uh aid your nurse in whatever duties that would take a little bit longer for them to do because they have other things they have to do like chart like pass out meds like uh reach out to doctors and then work on you know units that are i mean not units patients that are a heavier load they kind of got to focus on them so all the little small stuff is basically what we do as techs cnas um but is the job hard i will still say to this day being a cna is not hard mentally you you do have to think you do have to relay vitals you do have to relay you know different things that's happening um with your patient and you know let the nurse know and you guys can work together to figure out what's the best uh, plan of care to help this patient out in any way possible that's the job as a, as a tech as a cna um from my experience my, as for nursing homes you're gonna get a lot of patients that's to be expected um but it doesn't have to be a difficult thing it doesn't have to be a hard thing um one thing I, I like about being a CNA has always been the schedule. You work three days out of the week and you have the rest of the week off. Um, you don't work a traditional schedule. I also work nights. That's also not a traditional schedule. You have the option to kind of just do it the way that you want to do it because these patients need help around the clock, 24 hours. If you want to work daytime, you can work daytime. If you want to work nights, you can work nights. If you want to work uh, three days out of the week, PRN, weekend option. These are all things that you have access to as a CNA. And um, I will advocate for that literally for as, however long I'm gonna be a CNA. Um, but being a CNA is not difficult. It's not tough. It doesn't have to be hard. Um, and it's all about who you ask. I know uh, some techs that they just plan on being techs. They might say, oh, the job is hard. 
the job is difficult, but I look at it a totally different way. I look at every shift that I work as an opportunity to learn something new, uh, to ask different questions, to you know, kind of become as well versed as I can um, before I actually you know obtain a license for a registered nurse. Um, I feel like if you take the, the situation serious and you take the opportunity serious, you could really win. You could really win. You could really see a bunch of different units uh, from a, a tech standpoint and ask the nurses as many questions as you can because for the most part, nurses are always happy to help you out, to inform you and educate you as well. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long because I am doing a two video week this week. So uh, I want you guys to stay tuned for more. If you have any questions regarding nursing, tech, any of that stuff, um, not tech, a nurses tech, nurses aid, any of that good stuff, go ahead and comment below. Uh, keep the analytics going up. Keep the interactions going up. Keep the uh, the keep the uh, the uh, the uh, why am I having a brain fart right now? Keep the interactions on this channel up because uh, I'm always happy to answer any questions and I do answer every question I can. So uh, I think that's all I got for you guys today. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand before my birthday in July. It's now May. So let's beat it. Let's beat it before July. My birthday is at the end of July. Let's get this total up before my birthday. So uh, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. That's all I got for y'all in this video. I didn't want to make it long, but stay tuned this week for another one, all right? Peace.